There it goes. Hello, everybody. Uh, today is day 1.266. It is February 2nd, 2018. It's my understanding that uh, Groundhog saw its shadow. And so we have six more weeks of winter. And uh, as it turns out, uh, Mother Nature here is sticking her finger out going, ah, I'm going to give you sunshine today. And so it's it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day outside. And uh, it's been a great day for me. I uh, did some stuff this morning and got my second uh, work computer up and running. And so it's nice. Very, very nice. And I'm on my lunch break. So that's why I'm goofing off a little bit. Um, lots of, uh, just kind of odd thoughts, but, but today I want to talk about two things. And one of them being a quote that was at my daughter's, um, my daughter had a seminar this week about, you know, welcome to being a middle school student, what it would be like orientation type thing. She's in fifth grade this year. She's going to be in sixth grade next year. She's going to be in middle school, et cetera, et cetera. Um, in the United States, uh, what was kind of once junior high, um, you know, kids go through elementary school, K through five, and, or pre-K sometimes through five, and then they're in sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, and then they go to high school in the United States, at least in my state, which is sometimes a state of insanity, but it's uh, the state of Indiana. So, um, but the principal had a thing on his slideshow that I thought was really cool. And here's the quote. It said, be the best version of yourself. And that was it. I know the army um, had, you know, join the army, be all you can be, et cetera, et cetera, join the army. Um, but I like this quote, be the best version of yourself. And why do I like that so much? Um, because I think, I know I've struggled somewhat with my past, and I think, again, this being a transition blog, you know, uh, how do we, once we go full-time, and we like it, okay, <laughs> I'm hoping you like being full-time, or you're thinking about, let me take this out, so you take me a little seriously, I'm, I love this, I got my daughter one for her hair color, and since I'm gray, I got this one, and it's kind of fun to be mama, mama bear with her. Um, hang on a second. Dee, 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 dee. Turn that off. Um, but how to your past, your past. I mean, when we transition, do we, it's like, do we take our past like a piece of paper and crumple it up and throw it away? Do we integrate our past into us? I mean, uh, there were parts of my male self that I really liked and still do like. Um, there are parts that I could do without, okay? Physically, there are definitely parts I can do without. And, and knock on wood, in seven weeks, uh, we will take care of uh, snipping that off and doing some other things. Um so just set be your bear with okay um so again it's one of those things that you know there's still changes to be made and things we like things we don't like are, are you know after you go full time and you're transitioning and everything you know are your how do you see your own personality how do you see the person you are how are you the woman that you are and you know is it like a salad bar and you take what you like and you leave what you don't and, you know, that's your, that's who you are? I, I don't know. I mean, it's a kind of a rhetorical question. Um, but I had this idea previously that it was like I, I, everything I was up to that point, just crumple it up and throw it away. And I like this, this quote better, be the best version of yourself, you know. And, and I guess what I would I come back to thinking about that is it's not a matter of control alt delete on our personalities and who we are. We are developing, and it's a version. It's you know software goes through versions and testing and um, you know hopefully if there's something about 
you know, something about us that we don't like, we change it, you know, and, and, you know, we're not, it's not like we transition and we become totally other people than we were before, somewhat. Um, so perhaps the takeaway is to be the best version of yourself that you can be, be the, be, be the best version of yourself. Every day is a gift and definitely on this journey, uh, especially with hormones and whatnot, every day we are changing. Every day we are changing. You know, the way I am today, um, there's a pretty good chance tomorrow I'm going to be the same way, but my body is changing very, very slowly. And I would imagine your body is also changing very, very slowly. And that's definitely a positive thing when you look back and you say, look at how far I've come. Whether it's a week, it's a month, three months, six months, seven months, woo, seven months, nine months, 12 months, a year, two year, three year, four year. Um, look at how far you've come. So that would be my other thing. And the second thing that I noticed today, I had to go in to pick up some cable. And uh, it's kind of funny to have, in a previous life, I was pretty well uh, educated in uh, in running cable and, and e Ethernet, Internet, I mean, just whatever. I'm not a newbie. And as much as I love to be mansplained to, and uh, I love just being the girl who doesn't know anything, <laughs> whether it's true or not, I just love it. Originally, it kind of bothered me. And then the more I'm like, you know what? He is treating me like he does every other woman. And if it pits, pisses me off, then, hey, I'm authentically a woman now. Who doesn't want to be talked down to? But um, to be helped in the IT and what. Anyway, what I'm driving at is I had to go get some stuff to, you know, install my, my computer and whatnot. But part of that going into the place that I used to work at now that I work at home and to go into familiar places that, you know, I can remember four years ago um, walking around the parking lot and being angry and upset. I wanted to transition or I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to transition. I just didn't know how. And um, my company every fall has a, a thing where, you know, they track, we, we get pedometers and um, we, get, we get points. We, we do teams. I usually, I'm, I'm the head of House Hufflepuff. And, um, you know, we do how many steps per day and everything. We, we encourage each other to get exercise. Oh, boy, that's a different look for me. We encourage each other to get exercise. And... Um, like I said, I can remember making laps and I was angry and I was frustrated. I was angry and I was frustrated and I had a lot of aggression and I was mad at the world and I was mad at God and I was just, you know, frustrated. And I had the same opportunity a year later when I had kind of made the decision that I, you know, I did my year in a day. Okay, this is my year in a day. Uh, I am going to transition in a year, in a day, and unless something happens in the next year to, to fuck it up or to, for me to change my mind. And so again, I can remember walking around our parking lot and getting on the treadmill there and doing all those things then in that version of myself. You know, I went from being unhappy and angry to kind of unhappy and questioning, and then I can remember... And there's a couple videos of me on this channel sitting in the parking lot at my work on my phone talking about, you know, hey, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm getting my letters. I'm going to start hormones. And again, I walk around the parking lot and the bathrooms are the same thing. And you use the bathroom and I'm sitting there, you know, as a scale in the bathroom and I'm weighing myself and, and, and you know, recognizing that the changes that I made. Um, and then now, much like this morning, I go there and I use the woman's restroom and um, but the, the the unisex bathroom is still there that I used four years ago and 
walking around the floor and the break room and you know the places again there were different versions of me you know um and much like walking around outside if you've ever played a, a car game of some kind um you know when you're going around a track on a I'm trying to think of a good example. I can't think of the name of the game that we have on our Xbox right now. But where you see a ghost of your yourself, like your best time, and you're trying to get the best lap, and you can see different ghosts of yourself going around the track. And that's kind of the way that I felt today when I um, parked the, my car and I was walking in to get the cart. You know, there was a time when I just would have, you know, hey, I'm tough, I'm going to carry this. And, and this time I'm, I'm like oh no, I need a cart, you know, I need a cart, and I'm not going to turn away someone who asks me for help, um, or to help me, excuse me, anyone who offers me to help, and again, I felt like there were ghosts of me before, there's the angry me, there's the questioning me, there's the me that's determined to lose weight, um, and so those were all different versions of me, in the same way that today, um, and again, back to being the best version of yourself, you know, we don't, I, I don't necessarily think we have to have these huge overhauls and definitely as part of this process, you know, um, things change, we change, you know, hopefully knock on wood, plastic, formica, I mean, hopefully we're we're changing, but again, that idea of being the best version of yourself. And thank goodness every day we have the opportunity to be a better version. We have another chance. We're given another chance to be another version. And we can hope perhaps that as human beings, we recognize there's a problem and we and we do something about it. We change ourselves. We don't sit there, hopefully, and, and we're like pointing the finger at something and say, it's your fault I'm unhappy, or it's your fault, you know, it's our fault. I mean, that's not to say there are some things that are out of our control, but are we doing everything we can do? Someone was to say, I don't, I don't have the money to transition. Okay, well, what are you doing to get the money to transition? Are you, do you have a job? You know, uh, and then that's, you know, again, I, I think about, I've sold plasma, okay? And um, nothing against people who sell plasma, but I don't have a cell phone. <laughs> and there I was selling plasma and the kids next to me, they all had iPhones. I'm, I'm just sitting there going, you know, I'm 30. I was 30-something then. I was in my mid-30s selling plasma to feed my child. <laughs> Someone just, you know, but I guess that's me being judgmental, and that's not really a good thing to do. So to each their own. We, we each have our own struggles and whatnot. But definitely, if you don't have a job, my friends, do yourself a favor. Get one any job and then build towards your goal you know if your goal is to have gcs then your mission might be to end up working for a company that will pay for it and it may take two or three stepping stones to get there i know that i have worked at burger king multiple times in my life when i needed to um and then moved on from there you know, the next job, one step up, one step up. Um, but here I feel like I'm preaching and I don't mean to be. I'm sorry. So be the best version of yourself. That was the other thing. Um, and then lastly, and this is going to be the weirdest thing. This is going to come out of left field. I was thinking about this this morning. I was looking at a picture of myself. I don't have any photos of myself like five years ago, six years ago. I mean, I, I didn't like the way I, I still don't like the way I looked then. Um, so why would I have pictures of myself? Um, but I was looking at, yeah, you can come up here, baby. You can come up here. It's 
all right. Just making a video. You've been in several. Um, my daughter wants to. Okay, there you come on up here. Hi, right. you can sit up with me. You know, I thought about. Okay, left field. This is totally out of the air. I'm not I'm talking on my ass. Okay, if I don't already. But do you think when we look at, you know, I, I forget it. I can't remember if it's Tuesday or Thursday. Transition Tuesday or Transition Thursday. And you, you see people post a picture of themselves before and after what they're, they're currently doing. And I guess I'd have to say it's been so long since I've been in love with someone <laughs> romantically. I love my daughter. I love my cats. Um, but I think, again, that love of a spouse or a friend. And this is going to cut deep, I think, for some people and myself included. But how much of that attraction is based off looks you know um and definitely we we say oh we're looking for our soulmate we're looking for a person that completes us etc etc but how much of that is pure physical attraction and you know i was thinking about what attracted my spouse to me was uh, my apparent manliness i had you know really thick um really thick hair here and manly man and i had a beard and did manly things you know um but you know that was a physical attraction in much the same way that a woman might fall in love with a man and i'm willing to bet that a good number of us if not all trans women uh, can identify with the flip side of that what you look for in a woman you know and, and and what they look for in a man and i was thinking about it's difficult it must be difficult and, and, and maybe here's where i say props to spouses who stay with their once husbands and you know props to them i mean did you ever th just stop and think you know it would be like being married to a person a man or being attracted to this person or man at the same time being presented with a picture of someone who looks totally different i mean we we hope um a woman and saying, you know, you can marry person A or person B. And, and as a woman, as, as a, a heterosexual woman, they have this automatic attraction to the guy that's person A externally. And then we're going to get a little metaphysical here, but person B is the girl or the woman that's trapped inside of person a and so then fast forward a little bit um hormones and body changes and i'm thinking more specifically if you do some sort of facial feminization or plastic surgery and you look different i mean not only are you changing your gender, you're changing your appearance, bones are being broken. Um, and, and person, person A and person B, they are their authentic selves on the inside as well as on the outside. And again, I, I'll take you out of it. And, and myself, you know, some seven weeks hence, knock on plastic, um, you know, I'm not going to have a penis anymore. You know, I'm going to have a, a, a neo clitoris, you know, labia and everything else. And so it's so different. And that's where I'm like, you know, for a spouse to stay with her, her loved one, you know, through their transition, that is a huge, huge, huge thing. And 
you know, again, I, I guess it's very sombering to me because, um, you know, it's such a huge process. And it's hard to, to initially to, you know, for me, I was like, you know, bring it on, bring on the changes. I want change. But I never, I guess I thought about what those changes would mean to someone else, but it, it didn't really strike on me till today. Um, I've seen some, some after effects and, you know, it's it, my first reaction is, you know, oh, that's amazing. It's possible. And I guess I'm thinking specifically facial feminization surgery. You know, it's amazing. Um, I'm very, very happy for, for the woman who is becoming the woman she is supposed to be. Um, but then I, I had a moment where I was like, it really says a lot about the spouse who is going to remain with this a whole other person. You know, I mean, I hope I'm not running this into the ground, but, but I mean, I, it really, it, it strikes me like that is a very deep, deep relationship. It's not something I had. I mean, from the from the moment I said I'm I want to pursue, I want to transition. I mean, it was, you know, you're out. Um, so I don't know, but it makes me wonder too. You know, just how different. I don't know. Anyway. And, 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 and that's the, the physical changes. We'll get away from this, I promise. You know, just as equally the mental changes that go on in our minds, I think. And that is still going on. I'm not done yet, but... Um, you know, we, we want it. I, I, I think, I, I know I wanted it. I wanted to change and let this, let these feelings out. You know, and I'm very thankful to have that opportunity. And I hope everyone does. I hope everyone does. And certainly I'm not done yet. I'm still changing. I'm still growing. And uh, whatnot. But it's amazing to me just how much is possible. You know, and I, I, again, I'm very thankful. And I wish everyone good luck. You know, it's, it's definitely not one size fits all. This journey is... Your mileage may vary, and you're the best captain of your ship, your vessel, as it were. So, All right, well, I've gone on a little too long, um, but uh, just some odds and ends. And um, just wanted to record. It was very nice, again, to go into my workplace and see people. And um, people that have known me for 12 years, treating me the same way as people I just met a year ago after I went full time, you know, people that, um, I've worked with via email for a couple years, but never saw me and they meet me for the first time and we hit it off. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's been really, really cool. And then the other thing, and then I'll shut up. Um, I noticed, now granted, my last, my videos from last night, and I, I just, I got so, sometimes I just get into that, I need that girly, girly moment. But I noticed that when I walked into my building, and it was really weird, I immediately slipped into the more feminine voice. <laughs> At least I felt like I did. Now I know there's no recorders that I know of. There were no drones following me. But and, and uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I probably won't be able to do it. But my boss's 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 boss was walking around talking to people, and he knew me from before I transitioned went full time. And he just he said, "Oh, you know, how are you?" And I immediately it was like, um, "I'm good. How are you?" You know, I immediately slipped into this voice and then I slowly worked my way out of it. And it was like, I, I, I realized what I was doing and it was like, okay, is this, is this automatic? I mean, 
is there a way to naturally soften your voice? And the answer is yes. Okay, you don't have to do this huge pitch change. You know, you can soften your voice, but it, it just, it just, it just made me just, I had to laugh at myself. There was a, an older man uh, who was coming out and I was holding the door for him and he said something like, you know, thank you, ma'am, or something. And I, I just said, I'm trying, I'm trying to see if I can replicate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I mean, it went up. And maybe that's subconscious. Maybe that's just the way it's going to work out. I, I don't know. I just, I, I had to, I had to laugh as I, I know I'm resonating. She give myself the bird. Um, you know, at some point I just, maybe I'm at the point where I just now just say, fuck it. And let my voice be like a boat tied to a dock, you know, and the tide's going to make it go up and the tide's going to make it go down and, and, and go from there. So I don't know if that's a solution or not, but all right. Well, my little kitty cat here is asleep and it is time for me to go back to work. So that's what I'm going to do. But I wish everyone a super de duper day and enjoy it. It's beautiful. And uh, good luck to you on your transition wherever you are at. And um, until next time, farewell. And I think I'm going to sign off by saying be the best version of yourself. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.